first what is a component in textbook definition component can be considered as a collection of rule sets so a collection of rule sets that can add some future to any pega application can be called as a component you see here a pega application is built over components as well as some component application this opens up the next question what is the difference between a component application and a component on a high level we can find a single main difference for a component application it can have its own case type you can reuse case type across applications by making the case type as a component application but component serves as an utility that can add some features or integrations component cannot hold any kind of case types it is just some libraries and functions that can add some features so this is the main difference if you want to reuse case types go with component application if you want to reuse just some libraries and functions or some kind of integrations you can always go with component by using the necessary rule sets let's see in pega how we can manage or create these components as i mentioned already components can be added to the applications right so i just opened the application definition and here you can find a block enabled components this is the place where you can add or associate components with the application so you can use this manage component to browse the pega marketplace where some partners may have already uploaded some of the reusable components you can use this browse apps and components that will get you to a landing page the pega marketplace you can browse over it and see if your required future is already available into the pega marketplace you can see a lot of components that are created and uploaded into this pega marketplace by either pega or by the pega partners let's say for example i am interested into this google calendar integration i want to use this into my pega application i can go here and check the component details you can check the compatibles and different details you will find and once you are okay to use this component you can just download get it into your local and then go back to the pega application all you have to do is just install it click on install use the downloaded zip and then just install it once it is installed you can very well enable or disable it let me keep it enable now you see this component is already added okay the next is let's see how we can create our own component where can you start with it if i go to application i don't find an option to create a component rule right how can i create a component you have to go to configure application and then components so this is the place how you can create a new component you already see there is an existing component available so you can use this new button to start creating your new component one interesting thing to notice whenever you create a component pega also creates a rule set for you so you can use or put all your rules under that rule set and you also have the option to add rule sets so if you are creating some enterprise component you can very well add your enterprise rule set inside to have all the dependencies rules if your component rule set is dependent on other applications you can very well add it as a prerequisites you can either add an application or a component itself as a prerequisites so once you fill in all these details make sure you lock it after you lock you can also package your component let's quickly try it out once i'm sure the component is completely developed i can lock this component as well once you lock this component you have the option to package the component you can just click here here it gives you a downloadable zip file that can be imported if you go back to the application here you can add the component the newly created component or you can also go to manage components and then you can either enable or disable the components this is on a high level overview of components thank you i'll see you in the next video